Alright, hey guys, this is Judge V. I'm here with another review. I know that I'm making a lot today because a lot of shit came out and a lot of shit I didn't get to review yesterday and I have more time on my hands today so I was I thought I should make more reviews, catch up on the newest episode that I've been coming up for the new spring anime, and which is why I've come to make this more Gary you um I forgot I know I maybe he's pronouncing it wrong. It's like I don't know. It's or Gary or Garu. Something like that. But anyway, um, aside from that, I thought this was I thought this was pretty cool anyway. Um, at first, like I thought it was kind of weird, and the main character is totally different than you'd expect anyone to be. Like I've seen some animes with like similar uh, um characters, like where they'll be like forever alone, kind of in a way, and they'll end up like becoming better. For instance, Miranicki. <laughs> but um, this is different. The way that he had his perspective, I feel like. It was kind of also reminded me of a mix of um, Say I Love You and Mir Nikki. <laughs> Except for all the gore and intense stories and shit. But, but you you know what I mean. Like It's taking the aspect of this forever lone kid named Yuki, but instead his name is... Crap, I forgot his name. His name is... Hikigaya. <laughs> Hikigaya. Gaya. But, um, and he would always... It was kind of cool, like, he would always get rejected and get his feelings hurt, so he ended up getting a really bad manner of life. And I don't blame him in a way, but I don't think you should take it that hard. Like, don't get, let everybody get you down just because of, like, one friend zone in a way. He totally got friend zone, I'm not gonna lie. Like, when I saw that, I'm like, friend zone, biatch. <laughs> like, that's the ultimate friend zone right there. Um, I don't even know what to say, like, that, that was a friend zone. <laughs> Um, but anyway, uh, it was kind of cool, so pretty much he made a thing about how high school sucked and all that school stuff to his teacher for one of his reports, and so she was like, you know what, you're forever alone, and you're kind of weird, so let's put you in this club with no one in it beside this, the most prettiest girl in school, and the prettiest girl in school is actually, like, nothing like you'd want to put her out to be, even though she's the prettiest girl in school and the people know her from everywhere she's always like really to herself she likes to keep to herself um she does she's really blunt about everything like she'll straight out like non sugarcoat everything and say it to you which is why a lot of people end up liking her because she's like like for instance if somebody was like came in and had worse hygiene ever she'd straight out say yeah you you stink like a pig or something like that's the type of girl she is in this anime which i kind of like in a way it's kind of cool neat need to see somebody like that i've seen like people like those in other animes and like she pretty much straight out says to like uh he gay gaia um pretty much like what's wrong and how he's like pretty much running away from like what he's what he's really like dealing with and like she's like shut up but he ends up like becoming almost friends with her by then this this episode which is kind of cool to see and also, another character was introduced, um, which was like this redhead. I can't really remember her name. I'm sorry, guys, but they end up making this club, and it's pretty much a volunteer club, which is pretty much out of his comfort zone. So it was kind of cool to see him go into out of his comfort zone and end up doing something like this. So I found that kind of cool. And uh, also the fact that um, this character and all the mixing together, and also the redhead. Um, I can't. I'm sorry, I can't remember her name. But like, it was kind of cool how like she. These two are totally like, I don't know, like kind of like antisocial personalities in a way. And they like this girl, like he comes in, she's like all like, um, I don't know any way explain it, but like comfy dory in a way, and all preppy and all that cool stuff. And uh, so it was kind of cool like to see them all mixed together and all their like experiences so far in the first episode. Not a lot has happened, but like in the first episode, a lot ha like a decent amount happened. It was kind of cool seeing how like he's being progressing and i really 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 want to see the next episode really want to see what happens um he seems to be progressing in a positive manner due to this girl and joining this club so that's always a good sign um i wonder if this is going to go far i have a feeling it's not going to be like extremely far like go like extremely long for an anime because just like do, just doesn't look like that type of anime and um it seems and i really want to see what's going to be happening and i think this has like a lot of hope just in the future to see what this is really going to be about anyway um that's pretty much all i have to say if i were to rate this it would be a um 8 out of 10 8 out of 10 guys so that's pretty much all I have to say I give it an 8 out of 10 because I don't know I just feel like it's an 8 out of 10 I don't know how to explain it. it's instincts <laughs> anyway um this is Jordan V I'm out hope you guys enjoyed leave a like if you enjoyed this if you like this video 
And if, leave a comment, tell me how you feel in the comments below, and subscribe if you want to see more of this beautiful face. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys enjoy. This is Joji, and I'm out. Hope you guys have a great Friday. And that is all.